Yeah, yeah, that's it. So with Toulouse, is it the kind of things that potentially you might get where they get some other teams, but they're obviously that good, that powerful, that full time. <laughs> Any little errors, they're going to punish them. Yeah, you've got to be pretty good. We, we needed to be two a man, probably eight, nine out of ten um, today. Um, and while I think the effort was there collectively, you know, I, I can't criticise anybody's effort. Just some of the just some of the things that we did, um, some of the decisions we made, just probably hurt us and cost us a little bit. Um, so we always catch you out on a lot of things. Um, you can defend well for five tackles, and then on the sixth, somebody runs it. They've got somebody back on the inside, and if you don't quite work from mark or you switch off slightly, that's the try conceded. They're, they're pretty ruthless and good at what they do. Um, but like I said, I thought we we caused them enough problems. Um, if we'd have got some of the basic things right, we'd have given ourselves a better chance. But, but yeah, in the end, got exactly the right winner. Toulouse deservedly won the game today, and um, for us, it's about you know learning from it. The vast majority of that squad are going to be here next year, um, and you know, we've done a good job to finish third and win the first playoff game, and that's now the starting point for this group of players. You know, there's been a lot of upheaval, a lot of change at the club this year, as we know. Um, but the but where it's finished and how it's finished needs to be the benchmark and the starting point for next year. No, definitely. And obviously, not a lot of teams will come and sort of score 20 points. Not that they could have scored more. Was that the frustrating thing sometimes? The final decision wasn't there because it was well, it was not a basketball game. But you had plenty of attacks as well. It was you were quite on the front foot. We just to only get the, the three tries and felt you could have more. Yeah, it wasn't really about the points, um, to be honest. It was more about what we'd planned to do coming into the game. Um, we didn't intend to outscore to lose in a 50 type, 46 type of game. Um, it was more, again, about performance that we've we've concentrated on for a long time now. Um, and we got some of it bang on. You know, we we caught to lose out a few times, um, certainly on our left, their right. Um, but then just didn't quite have the patience or, or smartness to, to do the right thing um, on the next play or, or the next few tackles after that. So, yeah, um, there's, there's things to work on, things to learn. It's a relatively <coughs> newish team when you look at the combinations that are out there at the moment compared to what started the season. Um, and, and there's some things that each individual can work on and collectively we can as well. There were obviously few things that grated on you and they were great on anyone that would be in the stands like earlier in the year or last year whatever things like conceding soft tries and losing discipline a little bit I mean it was certainly no one here as bad as we've seen in the past but was there elements at times today where the lads maybe it was quite an aggressive team there were a couple of times when it got a bit got a bit heated and obviously there were a couple of tries that it's been very thou shall not pass the last few weeks at defensively and it felt like there were a couple where they were fairly easily avoidable as well so those two things combined but that's just that's just level of opposition as well. Yeah, it did um, definitely. Yeah. To lose are a step up from what we've been playing recently, um, especially out here with a quicker game, a uh, wider field. They, they've tested us more than any other team um, has done. Uh, both times we've come here. Um, and while I think we improved from last time we came, we still didn't quite do well enough. Um, so whether that's quality of player from Toulouse um, or us not quite concentrating for, for long enough, you might be right. Maybe against other teams, you don't get caught out on some of the things that we got caught out with today. Um, but yeah, it's a lesson for all of them out there, no matter how young or old. You've, you know, if you want to be in these games come the end of the season next year, then you're going to come up against a full-time team somewhere, and you've got to be fit um, in your head, and you've got to be fit physically. So yeah, the, the players will be challenged, or they have been challenged, to make sure they're in good shape come day one of pre-season because. The vast majority of that squad will be there together. Um, they enjoy each other's company. They've worked hard together this last few months. So it's a great starting point. He's finishing third in this division mm. for next year. You, know, you touched on it a bit there, and obviously the the devastation that you saw at full time. I think a lot of times last year there was almost a bit of apathy, and that seems to have completely turned around. I mean, it just shows in that way how far you've come. I suppose the lads talk about each other all the time in interviews. How much they get on. They looked absolutely gutted, whereas like last year it felt like after some defeats it was like, hmm, which were pretty good. So that must be positive to take forward in next year, I suppose, as well. That attitude seemed to completely change from a year ago. Okay. I can't speak for a year ago, obviously I wasn't here. Yeah. Um, but certainly um, yeah, what we've what we've tried to build and put in there, then yeah, they're, they're going to be as disappointed as what the, the staff are. You know, we all put a lot into this and and we were just here to make the numbers up. We. Um, 
know, we had to win a couple of games to, to actually finish in the playoffs, and then obviously we finished third. Um, we certainly didn't want to go out last week, and we didn't want to go out today. We wanted to, we wanted to get into a grand final next week and give it a shot. So naturally, everybody's good and everyone's disappointed because we've we've put a lot into it, and we feel like the team's capable of doing something. And like you said, I think obviously. A lot of team are going to be here next year, which is lovely, and it's great to see because they seem like a good bunch together. But you mentioned to me a few weeks ago, it's always sort of sad, but it's in fact rugby league teams will lose players sort of every year. Just on reflection, how much of you and Brian sort of enjoy working with this group this year because it, it's been a yeah. real together thing, hasn't it? Yeah, we've just said it in there. Um, you know, it'd be nice to have this group from the start of pre season. It was very disjointed, as in players coming in, players getting injured, there were a lot of a lot of changes going through, so it would have been nice to have this, this sort of squad settled all season, but it was what it was, you know, we, we've dealt with what, what's been put in front of us and um, I don't think the team's going to particularly get broken up, there's only one or two um, potentially that won't be here, um, so generally the, I think the club are working hard to add to that, so you'll see a stronger squad hopefully than what's finished the season off uh, with players back fit as well that will help um, but in, in terms of personally myself and Brian um, I really enjoy working with Brian for a start but the players <laughs> have been brilliant um, been receptive to everything we've we've done with them and um, we've bought into everything and, and it's got us this close but not quite close enough do you two know where you're at for next season is that something I've discussed with the club in sort of the coming weeks in terms of what role Eamon might want you to play at the club in 2024 or is that not being discussed yet? No, we've just been focusing completely on this year. Um, we didn't want to get anything in the way of, of concentrating on this year. So, yeah, I'm sure in the, in the coming days or whatever, we'll sit down and start having conversations. But obviously, eamon has been really busy getting Catalans to a grand final, uh, helping out there, and, and we've been trying to do the same. So it's very much been focusing on week to week sort of stuff. Um, the club have obviously been busy. Um, retaining players for next year and having discussions like that but no, in terms of my, myself um, obviously I'll, I'll probably sit down with the club and speak to them about how it's going to look next year um, I can't speak for Brian so you'll have to ask him And just a final one from me Lee obviously on, on the fans obviously a lot of fans moved heaven and earth at a week's notice to, to get here today and obviously I know it's packed out also today for the stream as well obviously if, if Super League was based on fan bases but we'll walk into it how, how sort of captured have you been by, by seeing that first hand sort of this season, sort of the length, the length and breadth, length of the country they'll travel or the core broad and it's, the back end again was superb today. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, every every club has, has a group of supporters that will always do that. Bradford just probably have bigger numbers doing it. Um, but you're right, the, the short turnaround, the availability of flights and price of them was um, crazy this week as we found to try to get our own staff over here. Um, I believe there were flights cancelled this morning. People have to drive to different airports and find themselves over. So, full credit to them. They never stop singing from minute one to minute eighty. Um, I think we've we've created a team that they're proud of, and that's why they've been travelling in numbers these recent weeks to the away games. Um, and like I say, hopefully that's the starting point now for this team, and and hopefully the supporters see that and get straight on board with it from round one next year. Yeah, I'm sure they will.